be able to uh, enable uh, in the Pebble options uh, the override music app option, right? So you have to turn that on, and you also have to uh, you have to enable it for Augmented Smartwatch Pro also. So you have to do those first two things. Uh, the music is, and then here is the um, here is the default view. At the top is the weather. The middle is the next calendar appointment, if any, and the bottom is the Fitbit steps. Now, it, um, if you don't have the weather or the Fitbit enabled, you'll see other information that you do have enabled. If you press the top button, it will show you the weather. You press back, uh, and you press the bottom button, uh, the Fitbit, you'll get your uh, Fitbit steps, uh, which you, you saw your friend's leaderboard that you can then scroll down. You can press back. Now, if you press the middle button, uh, you can see the prior alerts. So you see here the, uh, the auto dock, uh, test message, and a test message. Okay? Uh, and press back. Uh, and then there's a new feature here called uh, Use Auto Dock Desktop State. You have to enable that for this to work. I'm in the, the Nexus 7 in the dock, and you just sort of see it there. There you go. There it is in the dock. It's in the dock right now. You'll see an, uh, a notification show up on the watch indicating that uh, quiet time is now disabled and now alerts can be sent to the watch. Okay, I'm going to show I'm going to show a special dual watch option that's enabled in the Pebble. You have to go to uh, the Pebble options, dual watch options, and you'll see three new options there. Now it requires a Pebble and the uh, the Sony smartwatch. Now I'm going to call the Sony smartwatch. I, I'm going to uh, I, I label it with my uh, son's name and on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Bryson, can you go far away? Okay, go, and then count to five and then come back, okay? So he's going to go far away. Uh, let's just see here. Uh, well, let me put the watch uh, back on the watch face. He's going to go far away now. He's going to go far away from the Android phone. And when he reaches uh, out of the range, i.e. the Bluetooth connection to the Sony, uh, it gets disconnected. Uh -huh. There you go. The alert uh, is saying that Bryson has left the monitoring area. And now he's going to come back. Hopefully he comes back. Okay, he's going to come back. Bryson, okay, just wait a few minutes, just wait a few seconds, and there, back, Bryson is back in the monitoring area. Great. And now, if he's around in the area, what you can do is you can send a message. Here, let me take the Sony smartwatch. I'll just put it side by side here. So you have the, now the Sony watch and the uh, thing. So if, I, if I, I can now send a message, this is the message I want to send. I can type it in, and I hit OK. As soon as I hit OK, uh, the, the, the watch will actually beep on, 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 the, on the Sony uh, so that uh, uh, Bryson can see a message that I just typed in happening on the music app. So in the music app, uh, you go, okay, so it's the same information, weather, calendar, Fitbit, and let's, let's type in, the, let's press to see the last few alerts. There you go, the last few alerts you'll see is the, uh, is the, uh, is the, uh, the alert message. Okay, that's it.